So as you can see here, I have six audio layers in my timeline. And let's say I wanted to nest these six audio layers to make them into one layer so that I have a clean, more simplified timeline. All I would need is an adjustment layer, right click, new item, adjustment layer. I'm gonna drag it over the portion that I want to nest, over the audio that I want to nest. I wanna nest this entire clip, this scene, right here. So I'm gonna drag my adjustment layer over that exact time frame. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the adjustment layer. I'm gonna hold shift, I'm gonna hold alt, and I'm gonna select all the audio tracks that I want to nest together, okay? Then I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna select nest. I'm gonna give this a name, audio nest 01. Okay, as you can see, it didn't do anything. So here's the next step. We're gonna delete that nested audio video layer that it just created, the green one. I'm gonna go into my project window. I'm gonna find the nested sequence that we just created. Whenever you create a nested sequence, it automatically brings it into your project assets here. You're gonna find it. You're gonna line it up with the original audio. Let me move it over so that it's on a new track. You're gonna line it up with the original audio audio. And if I zoom in, as you can see, my beginning points, my start points are all lined up. And if I go to the end, my end points are all lined up. So everything is going to stay in sync. I'm going to hold alt. I'm going to click on my nested video layer that we just dragged in. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to hold alt. I'm going to drag all of the audio layers that I just nested. I'm going to delete them. I'm going to click on my nested audio layer, drag it to the top. And now six audio layers just turned into one. If you double click it, you can see in here, we have all of our audio layers and an empty invisible adjustment layer. This is just a placeholder. You can even delete that if you want. So there we go. That's how to nest audio within Adobe Premiere Pro. Keep watching if you wanna see me break those steps down in a more simpler fashion for those who are maybe more new to Premiere Pro. But if you're advanced, I hope you found your answer right there. My name is Steven Warren. Welcome to the channel. Let's get right into this. So let's talk about nested sequences. Let me undo everything I just did really quick. Bring it back to normal. There we go. Okay, so typically within Adobe Premiere Pro, uh, we are allowed to nest layers together. And what that means is, let's say I have, in this case, four layers of video tracks. And let's say I had chopped these up to look a certain way, right? Let's say it was like that. I'm not gonna show you the video because this is a client project um, that I shouldn't be showing anyone. So that's why everything's, you know, offline and not showing. So let's say I had four video track layers here and if you're working in big timelines or let's say you're just working in different scenes and you wanna keep a more simplified, clean timeline, something easier to look at, what you can do is nest your layers together. I have four video tracks here. I can select them, right click, and I have this option to nest them together. You name it whatever you want. Usually you wanna stay very organized within your project so you know where things are at, what things are labeled. You give it a proper name, but in this case, it doesn't matter for me. This is just uh, for tutorial purposes. And now all my four video tracks are in this one layer. Very easy to manage. I can double click it, go inside of it, and edit the video from that point forward. If I make any changes, I go back to my main sequence. It's, it's, gonna, it's gonna update just like that. But let's say I wanted to do that with my audio layers. There's no such thing. It's grayed out, it doesn't let me do it. I don't know why we don't have this very simple feature, but there is a simple workaround that you just saw. So in order to nest our audio layers, we're gonna need an invisible layer just as a placeholder. You can use an adjustment layer. It's gonna get deleted either way, so you can use a blank video, you can use an adjustment layer, you can use a black color mat, whatever you want. Just use an adjustment layer just because it's simple and it's just easy to work with, okay? So we're gonna drag the adjustment layer over the audio that I want to nest. I wanna nest this entire scene right here, this entire clip of audio. Let's say I just wanted to do half. I would bring it half right here. I would cut the audio that I want to nest, and then I would just be nesting you know, this portion of the audio. But I wanna nest the whole thing, so you do whatever you wanna do. So what you're gonna do is you wanna select your adjustment layer, and then you're gonna to wanna to select the audio layers that you wanna to nest together. So highlight the audio layers, Hold shift to add to our selection and click on the adjustment layer. Now everything's highlighted. We're gonna right click and now our option to nest is there. We're gonna click nest, give it a name, whatever you wanna name it, okay? Remember what you named it though because we're gonna need to find it in our project window. So as you can see now in our sequence, it nested the video but it didn't nest the audio. What's going on, what's the next step? Here's what we have to do. Get your nested sequence that we just made, okay? 
drag it back into anywhere in your timeline on a new track, okay? And line it up with your audio layers so that everything's in sync. My in points are the same, my out points are the same. You wanna make sure everything's in sync, okay? And so what we can do is if you alt click on a layer in Premiere Pro, what that does is it isolates that layer. We're gonna, even if it's linked to, a, to, to an audio layer. For example, let's say, you know, these two layers are typically linked together. When you click on the audio, when you click on the audio, it selects the video. When you click on the video, it selects the audio. Holding alt, it isolates the layers if they're linked together. So what you're gonna do is alt click on the video portion of the nested sequence and delete it because we don't need it. Alt click the, 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 you know, if there's another nested sequence there, the video portion, delete it. It's blank anyway because it's just an adjustment layer. Now, what we're left with is a nested audio sequence right there. And what we can do now is select the audio that we just nested, the original audio layers, delete them. Grab our nested audio layer, bring it back to the top, and there we go. We now have a nested audio sequence. And typically, the waveforms should show up as well. I just don't think Premiere is loading them up for me because I have multiple recordings and renderings going on over here on my second screen. So I think that's why, but typically, it would show the waveforms as well because waveforms are very important for editing. So now, if I double click my nested audio sequence, there's all my audio tracks. Beautiful. I can even delete this adjustment layer if I wanted to. And there you go. I hope that made sense. This is a simple feature that we don't have, but we need. Here's a simple workaround. My name is Stephen Warren. If you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to get back to you. Um, please subscribe if you found any value in this video. Give it a thumbs up. Share it with a friend if you know you think they would benefit from it as well. And I will see you in my next video. Have a great rest of your day.